If you ever wanted to give Iowa a try, now would be the time to do it. Hello and welcome to today's running of the Iowa Corn 300. Located in the heart of one of the plainest, flattest states in the world, the Iowa Speedway is a 7 eighths of a mile action-packed circuit these 22 IndyCar Series drivers will have to navigate today. This track always produces excellent multi-groove racing and close quarters pack racing, so we'll have to see what these drivers do to cope with these conditions here today. Points leader Castro Neves qualified on the pole with a blazing lap in qualifying. As we take a couple more looks at this very scenic track powered by corn power, we'll take a look at today's starting lineup. On row number one, we see Alio Castro Neves and Will Power. In row two is J.R. Hildebrand and Ryan Hunter Ray. In row three, we have Graham Rahal and Simon Pagino. Row four, we have Sebastian Bourdais and last week's winner, Ed Carpenter. Row five is Felix Rosenquist and Takuma Sato. And in row six, we have Robert Wickens and Scott Dixon. Row seven is second and third in points, Andretti and James Hinchcliffe. Then in row eight, we have Joseph Newgarden and Ed Jones. In row nine, we have Carlos Munoz and Colton Herta. And in row 10, we have a couple XF1 drivers, Max Children and Alexander Rossi. And today in row 11, rounding up the field, is Tony Kanon and Charlie Kimball. So, before we go racing, let's take a look at some race facts here. So it's a 7 eighths of a mile track, 22 cars, so it's going to be very tight. 15 laps, and the fuel window is 10 laps, so these drivers can take their pit stops whenever they want, and it's going to add an element of strategy to today's race. So without any further ado, Elio Castroneves takes the green flag here at the Iowa Speedway. Down that back stretch, J.R. Hill at 21. Will not get a lot of momentum at the start as here comes Hildebrand on the bottom of the racetrack side by side now with Castroneves. Through three and four, that 21 car barely edging Castroneves, but it looks like now Will Power's going to take it three wide for the race lead and he's going to take it as we have a crash in the back. Mid-pack there, that was Felix Rosenquist, James Hinchcliffe, and Joseph Newgarden off a of turn number four. That looked big. So let's take a look at the replay. It looks like Felix Rosenquist's car just snapped around on him. Newgarden doored him, and James Hinchcliffe just had nowhere to go. You see Marco Andretti, Ed Jones, and Alexander Rossi all get through there pretty well. Tough day for them, but Will Power just took the lead with that bold three-wide move. So we'll come back to see how this works out after this word from our sponsors. Hey guys, look, it's Spider-Man showing on the road. Hey, what's going on, Spider-Man? Yo, yo, is that a car? Hold up, is that Thanos' car? Oh no, Spider-Man, Spider-Man move! Spider-Man, Thanos' car is coming! Oh my God, he has headphones on, he can't hear us! Oh my God, Spider-Man move! You're gonna die! Oh my god! From the earth I rise, and to the earth I one day will return. What's up, mother shuckers? My name is Colonel Cornelius Cornwall, and I'm here today to introduce you to... Corn. Corn is a North American cereal plant that yields large kernels on a cob. It is also called maize because it's easy to get lost in its incredible flavor. Side effects of corn may include choking, I guess. Come down today and try some corn or we will sacrifice your newborn. Let's never speak of this again. We're back here at the Iowa Speedway where Will Power has the race lead as we go back racing. J.R. Hildebrand. Close behind with Castro Neves in third. Ray Hall takes fourth. See these cars side by side. Dixon and, and Ryan Hunter Ray. As they go down. 